Dr. Rick Knapp, director of the National Hurricane Center, coming to you live from the Hurricane Awareness Tour stop here in San Antonio, Texas. And we're going to take a tour of the NOAA G4 jet aircraft. My friend here, Lieutenant Commander Jason Mansauer, is here. He's one of the pilots of the aircraft. Jason, welcome. Good to see you. Dr. Knapp, grateful, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, we thank you for taking the time to join us on this tour. We've made the tour bigger and better than ever before. We're making a habit out of bringing multiple aircraft. We got the WC-130 from the Air Force, the NOAA G-4 jet. Tell us a little bit about the Aircraft Operations Center, all of the toys you have to play with at your place. Absolutely. Hey team, welcome and good afternoon from San Antonio. We're able to have you online right now live. Uh, at NOAA's Aircraft Operations Center, we're based in McDill Air Force Base in Tampa, Florida. And NOAA has nine aircraft that we use for environmental research, uh, three of which are NOAA Hurricane Hunters, uh, two P-3 Orions, and this beautiful aircraft behind me, the NOAA G-4. I'd like to show you more if you want to come with me, okay? Yeah, we're going to geek out a little bit on what we do with the data for forecasting at the National Hurricane Center because this is not just a research platform, it is an operational tool that we use to make better forecasts. Yes, sir. Most definitely. This aircraft's very, very special. It flies at 45,000 feet. That's nine miles high. We are a dot in the sky. We go as fast as seven miles a minute. And we use that speed and altitude advantage to go around the hurricane, over the hurricane, getting the environmental intelligence the hurricane models need to get better and better. So we want to really see what kind of instrumentation you have on the aircraft. I mean, people have probably heard of a G4 jet, but this is not your average G4 jet. What kind of additions have you made to make this the flying laboratory that it is? Yes, sir. We've got two big pieces of equipment that we use on the NOAA G4. Uh, its call sign is NOAA 49 or Gonzo, perhaps. Number one is drop sons. Number two is tail Doppler radar. And I'll start with the drop sons first, okay? Yeah, let's see where they come out of the airplane. Over here, please. This is what a drop sod is. It's about as big as my arm, okay? And it free falls from the aircraft, and we go through about 30 of these per average of our mission flight, about eight hours uh, for hurricane flight in the G4. What it does, it falls out of the aircraft right here. This is a tube that goes right to the cabin of the aircraft. It free falls out via the pressure difference inside of the cabin versus the ambient atmospheric temperature or atmospheric conditions. When it free falls, it pops a small parachute. And it free falls all the way down and smelling, okay? Sniff with me, okay? It smells wind speed, wind direction, temperature, dew point, humidity, things a hurricane model needs to get better and better. That means a more accurate forecast for you. And one thing that we do ahead of time is identify the situations in which the G4 jet is going to be most beneficial. We design flight tracks to get the data just the right spots so the hurricane forecast models get the data they need to make the best forecast. Precisely, precisely. This is part one. Part two is back here the tail Doppler radar. So in here, it's a rotating radar, kind of on the y-axis. So as we're going around the hurricane at 45,000 feet, this radar paints up and down. So if you know an X-ray, or almost like a looking at a hurricane through X-ray glasses, this radar lets you see the hurricane structure from the inside out. So you're seeing the hurricane high wall, you're seeing the rain bands. That structure is also very beneficial for modeling point of view. Fantastic MRI on the inside, inside of the hurricane. And this Doppler radar can give us wind speed, which is just an idea of the structure that we wouldn't go get any other way. Precisely, yes, sir. So, one fantastic thing about what we're doing here on this tour is showcasing the technology that we use to make the best forecast possible. But I know, just like the rest of the crew, you've got a passion for this because the kids come out, the family members see this. You took my own son on a tour of this plane last year. I'll never thank you enough for that. And what we really want people to do is have confidence in the government that we're doing everything we can to make the best forecast possible. What have you talked about with some of the visitors here today? Yes, sir. And, and for us, it's absolutely personal, team, because the way I see it, this is your jet. Okay, come out to the Hurricane Awareness Tour, see what we're doing on your behalf. What I'm finding out right now, sir, is people want to know what are we doing to keep them safe, what are we doing to keep them informed, and what they talk to myself, Dr. Dabb, the Air Force Reserve, 
they walk away with a much better understanding and appreciation for a dangerous mission. And ultimately, what we hope people get out of this awareness tour is that we're ready. Now you as individuals, family members, businesses, go home, do what you need to do to get yourself hurricane strong so you can survive the event and recover in the aftermath. That's why we collect these data. That's why these brave men and women do their job so well. Thank you so much, well, Lieutenant Commander. Well, grateful. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Hurricane Strong. Hurricane Preparedness Week, all week long. Follow us at NWSNHC.